Okay guys, what we're gonna do today is uh, solve a one variable equation. Now, one way that we could do this, obviously you need to do it algebraically, but what do you do on a standardized test when you want to uh, solve an equation? So, consider the equation 2x plus 1 third equals 6. Now one way that you could uh, double check your equation is to take the left hand side of the equal sign, which is 2, um, x plus, and then in parentheses, put 1 uh, divided by 3, right? And then the right-hand side of the equal sign, in this case, which is just 6, and graph both of those. And then um, what you do is you look at the graph and find the intersection of both those lines. So here you would hit second trace, um, find the intersection, which is option number 5, and then move your cursor to where the two lines intersect. And so I want to point a couple things out. Notice that we are on the red line. The equation for the red line is right here. When we're pretty close or as close as we can get, um, hit enter. Now we've switched to the blue line, a y2 equals 6. Hit enter. Hit enter again. And it says that it crosses at about... Uh, 2.83 repeating. So that's the uh, solution. So now, how do I do that in the numeric um, solver? Well, let's hit the math button. And what I'd like to do is it's the last option on this list, but if you hit up instead of down, you won't have to scroll through everything. So I'm going to hit enter. And basically we do the same thing here. We're going to enter in the left-hand side of the equal sign. So I'm going to say 2x plus. Now if I want to enter in a fraction, I can actually hit um, alpha and then y equals. And that will pull up this little um, function menu. I could go in and hit fraction and stuff. But I just want to, I'm going to choose option number 1. And then I'm going to put 1 over 3. And then that's that equation, and then I'm just going to put 6 here. When I'm done, I'm going to scroll down, and it solved it. And uh, it shows the tolerances. So it's 2.83 repeating. And that's it. That's how you solve equations um, with one variable using the numeric solver. It's a lot quicker this way.